Let's talk about triggers inside of MiniChat to create your real estate chatbot so that you can automate your business and take it to the next level with that lead generation, that qualification, and that follow-up that's happening that you're able to do inside of MiniChat. Uh, so this is part of a series for mini chat training so in this playlist on our channel you can check out videos before and after and kind of go through all the different parts of the mini chat training that we're offering in this video like i said we're going to be covering the triggers inside of the flows uh, so the trigger is what uh, gets people from outside of your chatbot into your chatbot so what what is happening to trigger a specific flow inside of uh, mini chat so let me reload this page real quick all right so uh, this is the beginning of a flow now obviously this this is this flow has not been created but if it was it'd have messages and all that kind of stuff inside there um, but at the beginning there's the trigger so when you click on it and you hit new trigger these are the options that you are given to uh, again trigger that chatbot flow that has been created whether it's something you've created or it's one of our templates that you can get at realestatemessengerbot.com uh, the link is down in the, the description um, but this is essentially how people get from outside of your chatbot to inside of your chatbot. Uh, so the first one we have uh, for Messenger is the user clicks a Facebook ad. So Facebook ads JSON. So when you click on uh, this, you'll see um, that, uh, well, I can't set it up because I don't have a, a, a uh, um, button in there um, but essentially it's going to create a line of code for you to put into your facebook ad um, and it's really straightforward I, I show you how to do it in another video uh, but it is inside of the ad setup for the messenger part of your facebook ad so you can go through it and basically follow the steps copy that code and put it inside of your facebook ad and then um, people clicking on that ad will go into this specific flow so that's the first one the next one is uh, user comments on your post so uh, when you make a post you can you can add this growth tool this uh, trigger to a specific post that you make or you can set it up for um, for all of your posts so we either have specific posts or you have any post, which is a pro option. So you can set up with any post. Again, anybody who messages on comments on any of your posts on Facebook uh, will receive a message. And uh, for the specific post, all you do is click specific post, you select publication, and then you can go through, uh, this is a demo page, so it doesn't have any posts. Uh, you can go through your published post, your scheduled post, your promotable post, and your customs, and you can just basically select the post. And now, anybody who comments on that post will receive this message that you create. Uh, you can also have uh, comments contain any words or you can add specific words. So if you say, hey, comment below, comment uh, buy a home below to get a home buyer's guide, then you add that keyword buy a home, you add your, your buyer's guide in here. Um, and then when they comment buy a home below your post, boom, they get a message and uh, uh, then they get their, their buyer's guide. You can track first level comments only, um, and then you can have a pop public auto response on the comment. If you want to type a, a, a message that responds uh, on your post, you can. The next one is going to be, um, users send a direct message with a keyword. So you can add a keyword. Again, this is, uh, you know, DM us the word buy to get a home buyer's guide. So uh, it can be message. This is just like uh, the condition of the, the message. So a message is, message contains, message contains whole word, message begins with, message is thumbs up, message doesn't contain. So if you do message is buy and create, now if someone sends the word buy, they'll get the message. But if they say, I would like to buy a home, it will not trigger. However, if you change it from message is to message contains, now any sentence with the, with the word buy in it is going to trigger this message. So that is the keywords in a nutshell. 
Uh, the next trigger is going to be the users click a ref uh, referral link, which is the ref URL. All you have to do is click on that and it creates a link uh, for you. All you, you copy that link right there, share it with anybody in an email and a text, uh, you know, send it over your personal Facebook uh, post, uh, send it to your phone, whatever it is, you can send someone that link. If they click on the link and it'll open up messenger where they can, will receive this specific flow that you have created. Same thing with the QR code. I'm not going to go through that. All you do is click on the QR code and now you can download the QR code. People can scan it and go into your message. Uh, and then you have the Facebook shop, which I'm not going to cover because it doesn't help um, real estate agents. Uh, so they have a bunch of different ones that you can use on your on your website. Uh, the only one that we really work with is the customer chat. So you can create a customer chat uh, growth tool, add it to your website. And then when they do it, when they uh, interact with that chat, the chat box on your website, it'll go to the specific message that you create. Now you can add this with it with any of these, you can add them to the beginning of any flows that you've already created or you, you have inside of a template, or you can start from scratch. You can hit, you know, customer chat and create a whole, all new, um, chatbot flow right there. Uh, so there's multiple ways to do it. Uh, but here are the options for the chatbot flow or the customer, um, chat box. Uh, I'm not going to go through it cause I think I did it in another video, but those are them. Uh, and then you have a bunch of other ones for a website uh, that you can go through that I'm not going to cover here. The Instagram has uh, user comments on your post. So similar to the Facebook comments, user replies to your story. So that will, uh, you know, if a user, someone replies to your story, a specific message or something, then you can send a automated response with that. User sends a direct message with a keyword that's using the keyword again and user comments on your live, your video. So if you're doing a live video, you can set up messages to be sent directly to, uh, to people during the live. So you, you flip, you flip on your live video on Instagram and you're talking and going and people are watching you say, Hey, comment, um, comment below the word, whatever, buy a home. And we'll send you a message with the link to the stuff. You'll click that. They can get that automated message. Uh, the other one is a couple of contact events. So you can do contact, new contact created. So you, so anybody who is, becomes a new contact, you can send a specific message to those people. Uh, custom field value is changed. System field value is changed. Tag is applied. Tag is removed. Uh, contact subscribe to a sequence. Contact unsubscribed from a sequence and date and time occurred. So I'm not going to go into all of those. They're, they're pretty self-explanatory once you open them up. If you're looking to do any of these, basically it's going to, uh, you know, if you have a tag buy a home that's in another sequence or another, another flow, and you want a different message to be sent when they receive that tag, then you would just, you know, add tag. So add tag buyer. All right, so now everybody who gets buyer tag uh, happens, we we enable it, we hit save, and we can do a message, we can do an action, we can do uh, an email, a text, anything like that from this separate um, chat box flow here. So those are the triggers for getting people into uh, your chat bot. Um, obviously you have other ways like the, the direct link to your messenger, to your Instagram, um, the, uh, the, the welcome messages, the default replies, all of those messages are going to be triggered, uh, when they come into your chat, into your messenger as a new subscriber. Um, the other way is that it can be, they can receive a flow from another flow. So let me show you real quick here. So let's say. Um, um, this button goes to another flow. So that's essentially a trigger. This, this button from this flow over here is going to go to the other flow, new home buyer qualification, 
that's essentially the trigger that gets them into that flow, the new home buyer qualification. So that is how the messages are connected. That's how the chats are connected uh, through these triggers, through these different buttons, through the welcome messages, uh, all those things, the default replies. Um, that's basically how the web is connected all together to get them into your chatbot. Uh, so if you guys have any questions about triggers or anything like that, comment below, give this video a thumbs up, uh, subscribe to the channel for more training videos uh, like this, and uh, uh, we'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks.